Hello, YouTube. Hi. So, normally I don't do YouTube videos during the week, <clears throat> but I feel as though today is a day where I really should do a YouTube video. I really felt like doing one after the news that I've heard. In fact, the whole entire world has heard today. And j just in case you have been living under under a rock for the last, I don't know, 12 hours, 24 hours, whenever you're watching this, I, uh, I have to tell you some some news. Now, some people might go, oh my god, yeah, this is good news. Other people are like, what? So, I'm going to tell you this news now, okay? In case you've not caught up on the news. So, for the last couple of months, in fact, for the last year and a half, let's say, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump have been racing each other to the White House, getting Americans over in America to vote for them. On this, well, not on this day, but on the 8th of November, 2016. Anyway, the 8th of November has been in past, okay? And we're now, at the time of recording this, on the 9th of November. So... The 8th of November was when the polling stations opened across America, which then gave American Americans who are over the age of 18, I think, uh, to vote for whoever they wanted to become the next president of the United States. It's a little bit like over here in the UK when we have the general election and we vote for the next prime minister, but except this happened in America. Now... Some Americans voted, others didn't because they either A, don't like Hillary Clinton, or B, don't like Donald Trump, or C, they don't like either one of them. Right? So they didn't vote. But there was some Americans that did vote. Now, I'm going to tell you the score now. Right? I might as well, just to make this video get much quicker. So, Hillary Clinton got a total amount of votes of 218. That is, 218 Americans out there voted for Hillary Clinton. Donald Trump. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but Donald Trump got 276 votes. That's right, Donald Trump got 276 votes, and Hillary Clinton... Got 218 votes. Now, that means to say that 276 Americans out there really wanted Donald Trump as their president. And guess what? That's what America has now. That's right. From the 20th of January 2017, Donald Trump will take the White House over from Barack Obama. That's right. Now, I don't know how to feel about this. Now, to be honest, I think this is a joke. I honestly do. I don't really think that Donald Trump was that successful in the elections. Somewhere along the lines, I reckon Hillary Clinton probably got more votes than Donald Trump, just to be honest. But it actually happened, okay? It really did happen. So Donald Trump will now take over the White House from January 20th, 2017. Now, the weird thing about this, right, is... Donald Trump has no idea, right, about politics. He has no clue whatsoever. He might be a successful businessman. He might be in a film, Home Alone 2. He has a cameo in that, trust me, um, where he, well, he doesn't escort, but he tells um, the little boy, Kevin, uh, which room to go to in a hotel in Home Alone 2. Um, so anyway, yeah. So he's a, he has a cameo in Home Alone 2. He's also a former host of The Apprentice, I think over in America, right? 
and he's also a successful businessman. Now, to be honest, he has no idea still in politics. He has literally no clue what to do in politics, okay? So, in theory, he's just going to drive Americans insane, okay? He's going to drive them so much insane, like, literally, they won't cope. No one in America will cope. In fact, the entire world is screwed. Now, this morning, when I found out this news, I was like, Americans are screwed. In theory, the entire world is screwed. So, yeah. And it's really weird, okay? Because 2016 has been the year where the UK leaves the EU, okay? Donald Trump becomes President of the United States, even though he has no clue what on earth he will be doing. The only thing... Right, I'm going to tell you this now, OK? When he was up on stage earlier this afternoon and he was doing his presidential election win speech, he literally looked like as if he was standing up on stage and he had no clue what to do. He He probably thought in his head... You know what's really funny is this was all meant to be a publicity stunt and this is no publicity stunt anymore because all those Americans out there, they all voted for me. That's my American accent, by the way. And yeah, so in theory, he's there like, okay... America has just voted me as President of the United States of America for the next four years, possibly eight years, if he stays on longer as President, if they continue to vote for him as President. I don't think they will, though, in 2020, but there we are. Um, but yeah, he's literally just standing there, thinking, what the hell am I supposed to do now? Americans out there, have just voted me as President of the United States. I have their power in my hands. And that's it. Literally, that is it. Now, I think this whole presidency thing is a joke, to be very honest. It is a joke because the only reason that Donald Trump wants to be President of the United States is... So that he can build, so he can get Mexicans to build a wall, and also for them to buy a wall as well. That's the only reason he wants to be president. He won't do anything else after that. He will just go. I built that wall. That's it. I'm finished with. That's all he wants. Seriously, and also as well, what Americans don't realize for those that did vote for Trump, is he is a racist. Okay. And he is also sexist as well. He's had so many stuff said about him. Um, I think there was even one that included him and a sex tape from 97 or something like that. So there's been so many reports about him as well. And yeah. So, but generally he's just a racist and also as well you know, um, a sexist as well. Now, let me tell you something as well, right, very quickly, because I am going to wrap this video up in a minute, is Donald Trump, right? <laughs> Honestly, I have no words. I have no words for America right now, other than you're screwed, right? If there are any Americans watching this on YouTube right now, you're screwed, OK, the entire world is screwed. OK, we've come out of um, the EU, which means we're screwed anyway here in the UK. You guys have got Donald Trump as your president from January next year. So either way, you're screwed. And I don't know what else could happen, really, for this world to be entirely screwed. But yeah, let's just put it that way. We're all screwed. So, yeah, that's just my message that I want to get across. And yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, so, honestly, that, that's pretty much it. That really is it. Um, yeah. <laughs> honestly, I just laughed this morning. I literally laughed 
when they when I found out that Donald Trump was was president, I was like, "What? You, this is a joke. This really is a joke." So yeah, um, but yeah, so fingers crossed. Hopefully, America, you'll only have Trump as president until twenty twenty, and then maybe someone else can be in the White House from 2020. Or if you really think, if the Americans out there really think that Trump is a good president and could run for another term, uh, which is from 2020 until 2024, then they'll probably keep him in for eight years. So, yeah. But there we go. You know, I mean, also as well, very quickly as well, also, I've got to say, right, he wants to have Muslims out of, uh, the out of the US and stuff, right? But then that means some of those Muslims will probably come over here, um, and you know, really that that's that's just not right. That really isn't right. I mean, I've heard people today go, you know, what if there are some Muslims actually over in the US who were born in the US? I mean, they can't they can't go anywhere. They can't just leave the US because that's their background. The background their background is the US. You know, and I mean, that's like our Prime Minister, Theresa May, right now, right? Saying right now to everyone in the UK that all the Muslims should go back to wherever they came from. And that is not right. That is not right at all. So, which is why Donald Trump is a little bit of a... That's why, that's just one of the reasons why Donald Trump is a racist. You know, he's also said that um, someone is a dog as well, a woman is a dog now in my eyes that's a bit sexist um but there we are uh, and also as well that's a bit of a that's one rude right to that person because he said in one of his um campaigns um when a reporter said you called this person um this that the other and he went yeah only to this one person and he even named that one person as well and yeah, and in and in theory, that's not right. I I don't agree that you know Donald Trump should be president. He is a bully. He is a bit of a racist. He is a sexist. You know, and he is probably the most controversial man in the entire world. You know, I've heard stories today that California want to leave the U.S. Don't even know where the hell California will go because they can't just pick themselves up and walk off like that. Um, I've heard so many Americans on so many apps like twitter and stuff saying that's it i'm leaving the us i have heard i've heard so many stories about violence kicking off in 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 america because of the fact that donald trump is is now president i've heard lady gaga um protesting outside trump ta trump towers as well um yeah all of that i have heard in one day and that's all because there is one man who doesn't even know a thing about politics has now become the president of the united states so there we go anyway i hope you enjoyed this youtube video uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll bring you my next youtube video out on saturday so make sure you do uh keep an eye out for that uh but from me here it's goodbye thank you very much indeed for watching and one last message to you americans Stay safe out there if you are watching this from America, of course.